There was once an elephant named Gajendra who lived in a garden called Rituman which was created by Lord Varuna. This garden was located on Mount Trikuta, the three-peaked mountain. Gajendra ruled over all the other elephants in the herd. One day as usual he went to the lake nearby to pick lotus flowers to offer in prayer to Lord Vishnu. Suddenly a crocodile living in the lake attacked Gajendra and caught him by the leg. Gajendra tried for a long time to escape from the crocodile's clutches. All his family members, relatives and friends gathered around to help him but in vain. The crocodile simply would not let go. When they realized that death had come close to Gajendra, they left him alone. He trumpeted in pain and helplessness until he was hoarse. As the struggle was seemingly endless and when he had spent his last drop of energy, Gajendra called to the Lord Vishnu to save him, holding a lotus up in the air as an offering. Hearing his devotee's call and prayer, Vishnu rushed to the scene. As Gajendra sighted the god coming, he lifted a lotus with his trunk. Seeing this, Vishnu was pleased and with his Sudarshan Chakra, he decapitated the crocodile. Gajendra prostrated himself before the god. Vishnu informed Gajendra that he, in one of his previous births, had been the celebrated king Indradyum, a devotee of Vishnu. But due to his disrespect to the great sage Agastya, he had been cursed to be reborn as an elephant. Because Indradyum had been devoted to Vishnu, the god had him born as Gajendra and made him realize that there is something called Kevalya which is beyond Swarga and Urdhav Loka, the realm of the gods. Indradyum finally attained moksha when he, as Gajendra, left all his pride and doubt and totally surrendered himself to Vishnu. The prayer made by Gajendra on this occasion became a famous hymn in praise of Vishnu called the Gajendra Stuti. This hymn was later inducted as the first and foremost hymn of the Vishnu Sahasranam, Thousand Names of Vishnu. Shuklam Baradharam Vishnum Shashi Varanam Chaturbhujam Prasanna Vadanam Dhyayet Sarva Vigno Pashantaye. Gajendra in his previous life was Indradyum, a great king who was devoted to Lord Vishnu. One day Agastya, a great rishi, came to visit the king, but Indradyum remained seated, refusing to rise up to receive the sage with due respect. Agastya was irritated and noticed that the mighty king, despite the greatness of his good deeds, still had traces of ahankar or egoism, and he revealed to the king that in his next birth he would be born as an elephant, and in that form he would learn the hard way that the self must be renounced and surrendered to the Lord. The crocodile in its previous birth had been a Gandharva king called Huhu. The sage Devala came to visit the king and when the two of them were bathing and Devala was offering prayers to Surya, the sun god, the king pulled the sage's leg for fun. The sage was furious and cursed the king to become a crocodile in his next life. The repentant king begged the sage's pardon. Devala explained that he could not reverse the curse. He blessed Huhu that Vishnu would slay the crocodile and liberate him from the cycle of birth and death. Now, what is the symbolic meaning of this tale? The tale of Gajendra is an integral theme in Vaishnavism and has great symbolic value. Gajendra is the man, the crocodile is sin, and the muddy water of the lake is samsar. The symbolic meaning of Gajendra Moksha is that materialistic desires, ignorance and sins create an endless chain of karma in this world and are similar to a crocodile preying upon a helpless elephant stuck in a muddy pond. Humans are thus stuck in a continuous cycle of death and rebirth until the day when they can look beyond everything in this creation and ultimately submit themselves to the Supreme Being Vishnu. I hope you learn. 
ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय